Mock, and we're beginning tonight with your health. Many of us know somebody, have heard of somebody that's taking Ozempic or Manjaro. These drugs are known as GLP-1, and they originally were designed to help folks who had type 2 diabetes manage their condition. Well, now many more patients are asking for these medications by name, thanks to all the buzz and reports of dramatic weight loss related to the drugs on social media. News 19's Walker Lawson has more on the impacts. I would say probably 20 to 50 percent more utilization, in, you know, uptick in the uh, prescribing of those. Dino Sebastian, owner of MetaSafe Pharmacies in Camden, says there's been an uptick over the last year of patients being prescribed GLP-1, known to most as Ozempic or Manjaro. Dr. Sandra Wilson, Prisma Health endocrinologist specialist, says it's because of how successful these products have become. You are seeing they're getting more potent and more successful with weight loss and the ease of use. Taking something initially twice a day as an injection was a lot of work. Taking something now once a week is very easy. Dr. Wilson says patients are started on the lowest dosage and then increased to get them to their maximum ability. But the doctor warns the drug can have some side effects. Really triggers that receptor which is part of how the gut communicates back to the brain, to the pancreas, to the liver, and how you actually deal with food, that food is coming in, and how to actually deal with it correctly. Initial doses are gonna be the ones that usually have the greatest impact. And you can sometimes see nausea and vomiting develop. And on top of side effects, the drugs are expensive. Some insurances won't cover them, and finding the drug can be a challenge. Maybe take weeks. They made the medication will be back on back order. Dr. Yemi Alatande with Prisma Health says she's spoken with drug companies that are working to expand to make more products accessible. They told me that they are opening more companies to produce more of these medications by the beginning of this year, but it's been pushed back a little bit to the middle of the year again because um, of some factors. So definitely, these drug companies also have to, you know. Um, make more, you know, produce more, open more facilities. Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX. All right, thank you so much, Walker. And sticking with your health news now,